Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title, I have a massive Bath & Body Works haul for you guys, and I mean massive. I have so much stuff in these bags to show you guys, so without further ado, let's get into it. Literally not going in any particular order because stuff is just in this bag. I have some buy online, pick up in store, I have some wallflower bulbs, some accessories, lots of fun stuff. But I first wanted to start off with a body care set that I did a couple days ago and I just really wanted to showcase for you guys. It is the brand new fall body care. The first one I have is Coconut Candy Apple. Now I have to admit, when I first saw this I was very intrigued to say the least because Candy Apple and Coconut really aren't a two cents that I would ever think to pair together. The notes say candied red apple, shredded coconut, and vanilla spice. And I did pick it up in the shower gel and in the fine fragrance mist. And uh, guys, it smells like a true coconut candy apple, or a true candy apple more so than winter candy apple. To me, winter candy apple definitely smells perfumey, musky, definitely has more of that wintry scent, where this smells like a true from the fair candy apple. I normally don't buy sprays, but I needed to get this because I loved the way it smelled in the packaging. Looks like a little sweater. It's so cute. And like I said, I do work at Bath & Body Works, just so you know, but I do buy a ton of stuff all the time and coconut candy apple just smells like a true candy apple. Obsessed. I also got in the shower gel and the spray pumpkin pecan waffles. Now you guys. Oh my god. For a scent to smell truly like the candle. It smells just like the candle. Notes of maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar, and I did taste it a little bit when I sprayed it, but anyway, this smells, it smells just like the candle, you guys. Rich, buttery, warm pumpkin pecan waffles, and this mist has the staying power of a true perfume. I even got it in the body cream, which I never really get scents in body cream, I just don't use it, but I knew I wanted to smell like pumpkin pico waffles from head to toe. And this is the new formula with the hyaluronic acid, so it's a little bit more hydrating, super exciting. Now, if you guys are a fan of woodland creatures like I am, this candle sleeve for my background for fall, I knew I had to have it, I saw it online, we didn't get it in the stores, but today we did get it in. All right, I need to pop a candle in here. Mm, do I have a plain candle? I don't really have a plain candle, but I'm gonna use this one. Oh my God, so we have a little fox, we have a little sunflower, a little hedgehog, owls. I'm obsessed with this candle holder, you guys, and the little wooden base. I mean, it's just so cute. I can't get it up. And I knew as soon as I saw this, I had to pick it up. And I also picked up the matching soap holder. I love this. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. I think it's so cute. And they're actually like really sturdy. So I knew I needed these. There's a little squirrel, a cardinal, an owl. Oh my God. And it's the same design on the soap holder too. So I'm super excited to have those in my collection. And then with fall. I got two of the new wallflower plugs in the pumpkin. This one looks like a blown glass pumpkin and this one is like two pumpkins on top of each other. They both light up but this one actually has fairy lights in it so when it lights up it twinkles and sparkles like you have like little fairy lights. I mean how perfect for fall my favorite time of the year. I knew I needed to pick up everything pumpkin and I have so much stuff. Let's talk about some single wicks. I got pumpkin pecan waffles, which I just talked about. Rich, buttery pecan waffles. Oh, smells so good. And then for... Yeah, we'll talk about it now. For um, Halloween, I got a couple single wicks. I got Ghoul Friend, which I'm not a fan of. I only got it for the packaging. 
I think it's like strawberry and peony to me. It smells very plastic doll-esque. Not a huge fan. Love the color though, and I mean the aesthetic for Halloween is everything. Bath & Butterworks blew it out of the park with Halloween this year. And then I have Vampire Blood, which, spoiler alert, I also have it in a three-wick. I really do like Vampire Blood. It's not like my favorite scent, but I do like to burn one every year. And the notes are Blood Red Strawberry, Midnight Blooming Jasmine, and Dark Transylvanian Plum. And the lick, the label is so cute. It has little vampires, and the lids are these really fun, shiny spiderweb lids. Three wick. And it's like a strawberry. It definitely is like a strawberry and plum. The jasmine's really there to round out the scent. I wouldn't say it's like a heavy floral, but really excited for that. Back into some more single wicks. <gasps> Pumpkin carving, which might as well just talk about the three wicks that I got too. I also got the three wick in pumpkin carving. And pumpkin carving, if you remember old school Slatkin and Company, this was pumpkin patch back in the day. And the notes are freshly carved pumpkin, spiced pumpkin seeds, and smooth brown sugar. And this scent, it's so good. And I love that Bath and Butterworks is doing a lot more white wax candles because they burn so much better than the really red or blue or any color candles. The white candles burn so much better. And pumpkin carving, they did it. They got rid of pumpkin patch and then one year they offered them in the four ounce sizes as a gift with purchase and my store sold out so fast. It's when I was just a customer but pumpkin carving is so good. Like a true pumpkin cinnamon scent without being like pumpkin spice. And then the last single wick I got was in Wicked Apple. And can we also just talk about the holographics on these Halloween candles? Obsessed. And I also picked up a three wick in Wicked Apple as well. And Wicked Apple is ghostly green apple, creepy caramel drizzle, and vicious vanilla plum. You would think caramel apple and vanilla, it's going to smell like Cider Lane. It doesn't. It's more, dare I say, buttery caramel. Um, also white wax. And this little ghost, oh my god, so cute. We were burning this in the store today and filled up the whole store. Like, it was a strong candle. And I love it. It's definitely different than Cider Lane. I like Cider Lane a lot more. But it is like that caramel apple gives me Cider Lane vibes, but... Like I said, a little bit more buttery in the apple. And also, mm, maybe it's green apple or Cider Lane's Macintosh apple. So maybe that's why it smells a little different. I don't know. Either way, love, love, love it. I'm just going through this haul. Oh, my God. Receipt. Let's talk about the rest of the three wicks. I picked up two three wicks as well. I picked up the Harvest Pomegranate. I got this in a single wick. Was so excited to see it in a three wick. And this is in the Fresh Air Bandana Collection, which these are luminaries. Cannot wait to see what these look like when they glow. Rich pomegranate, freshly picked apples, and sweet black plums. A lot of plum in Halloween this year, you guys. And again, the white wax. White wax works amazing for luminaries because the whole wax glows. And to me, this smells like a very warm, fruity jam or jelly. It's almost like that jellified fruit. So almost like you could smear this on toast or put it on like pancakes. Oh, it doesn't have any maple or anything. It's just really fruity, juicy fruity and dark fruit. Oh, love Harvest Pomegranate. And then the last three wick that I picked up pumpkin pecan waffles. This is the first pumpkin pecan waffles three wick that I picked up this year of many. Vendors use pumpkin pecan waffles. I love, can't get enough of pumpkin pecan waffles. I had one left from last year that I finished this weekend when I was off on Sunday, but I didn't want to get this year's packaging on that like crisscross, not a fan. I knew this was coming out. Love the packaging, this dark orange, obsessed. Again, maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. Heaven. I mean, just pure heaven, rich, pumpkiny, waffly, bakery goodness. So, those were the candles. I have a lot of really fun wallflowers, some accessories, and 
I think we need to start with none other than the hand. The most sought after item in Bath and Body Works, I almost want to say history, is this guy. This is the hand that everybody is talking about. It is a single wick candle holder. Now when I first saw this image I was like, creepy, gross, not a fan. I mean look at this. Hello? But as soon as I saw it in person, the detail, you guys, on her fingers, her little skull ring, the velvet sleeves, the gold, I mean, the ruffles, it is gorgeous. And look at it, sitting with a candle. I mean, you guys, it is seriously amazing, creepy, fun. When I film my Halloween videos, I will change my background to Halloween, and you know this is going to be front and center because I'm like attacking you with the hand. I love it. And let me tell you, the amount of calls we got in today about, do you have the hand? Do you have the hand? Do you have the hand? You guys, I hope they make more. I know they're on Macari for hundreds of dollars now. I mean, it's insane, but they are seriously gorgeous, heavy pieces. I feel like I'm getting a Tony Award, and <laughs> I love it, though. It is so much fun. I mean, the detail, like I said. And for $40, I mean, you can't beat it. Such good quality. All right, let's just continue with the Halloween accessories. I also picked up the adorable bat soap holder. Look how fun he is. And again, didn't even think about, I've had the purple hair for a while, but purple is such a fun Halloween color that I totally have purple hair for Halloween. And the little bats with the fangs. This is a little soap holder with the drain holes. So you just pop, this is not a Halloween soap. I'm waiting for a soap sale. But you pop your soap in here. How adorable is the bat? Guys, I can't get enough. But I will say, there's a three wick holder in the bat. There's a wallflower, a car scent. We don't have any of that stuff yet. I haven't seen anybody post about it, so hopefully it's coming soon. And when it does, I want the entire bat collection. I love them. Speaking of fun bat, fun accessories, look at the cat. I have a black cat. His name is Onyx. I love him. He's my little baby. And this is a little black cat candle holder or candle accessory. So what you do is you take your candle off and you set him right on the side like that. Look how stinking cute my little cat candle holder is. Isn't he adorable? <gasps> love him. And I knew I needed to have him simply because I have a black cat and it's so fun. I do not recommend burning the candle with the cat on it, purely just a decoration. Now you guys, have you seen, what do they call this? The Spooktacular Haunted Conservatory. Now this guy is a projector wallflower, so this is pretty massive, but it's very light, so it's not like gonna fall out of your wall. And it does retail for $34.50, but look at the detail, you guys. There's a little black cat in the window. We have our little flowers with eyeballs, our pumpkins on the bottom. And then if you see back here, right here, this is a projector, and it actually projects bats on the wall. I mean, in my entryway, for Halloween, the entire month of October, this guy is going out obsessed, literally obsessed. Had to have this. This is going to sell out super fast in stores. I know there's another one that's another house that has, um, it projects Happy Halloween on the wall. I've yet to pick that up, but I'm definitely going to. Then... I picked up the adorable little candy corn hand sanitizer holder. I already have the pumpkin spice latte that everybody loves, but I needed to get the little candy corn. Oh, I forgot I got him the vampire blood hand sanitizer spray. It is red like blood, and I mean, how fun. I leave these in my car, and like I said, it does spray, but it doesn't spray red or anything. And you just rub your hands together, and you're sanitized. I love these for my car, like I said, and how fun and festive for Halloween to have vampire blood. All right. I know I'm like super fast talking, but I have a lot of bulbs to talk about. So real quick, pumpkin cupcake, super sweet, a little bit candy-like bakery pumpkin. Caramel pumpkin swirl 
enhanced fragrance bulb. Now we recently got two different kinds of bulbs this fall season. Not really sure a whole lot about what they mean, but this one is enhanced fragrance. So I don't know if they've changed the formula or what, but this caramel pumpkin swirl is enhanced fragrance. Quintessential leaves. It's like a beautiful apple cidery warm mulled cider scent. Harvest pomegranate, such a new favorite for everyone. <gasps> salted butterscotch and vanilla, love that. That's just a salted butterscotch candle. I don't know why the bulb says and vanilla. White pumpkin, another classic fall fragrance everybody loves. Mahogany apple, this is one, not the biggest fan of the candle to be honest, so I picked it up in a wallflower just to try to see, hey, I might end up really liking the scent, I don't know. Another leaves. Flannel, men's cologne scent, a little bit of bergamot, really rich. Another white pumpkin. This is another one I was telling you about, the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Increased Intensity. So if you're familiar with Mahogany Teakwood High Intensity, it's much stronger. I assume Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Increased Intensity is the same thing, just different wording. Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, you know, I had to do it. It's my favorite scent in the world. Marshmallow Fireside, another classic sweet scent. And last but not least, Cranberry Woods, one of my all-time favorite fall scents from Bath & Body Works, Tart Cranberry, Cinnamon Bark, and Forest Cedar. All right, that was a lot. Super fast video. I just wanted to get out this information to you guys. Let me know if you picked up any Halloween stuff. Make sure you hit that notification bell when you subscribe to me so you're alerted every time I upload a video on YouTube. And my little baby, Shantae, I know people have been asking about her. She's right here. She's my little baby. She sits and watches me film every video. But me and her are going to get ready for bed, put all these goodies away, and I hope you guys have a great week. I'll talk to you soon. Love you. Bye.